Good morning, everybody. It's Ben. It's Saturday, uh, early April. Um, I just woke up. We're going to try and hit up some yard sales today. Uh, I wrote down a whole bunch on a list. There seems to be a lot popping up, although looking at the weather, it's kind of foggy. There's a little bit of dew everywhere. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to find anything. So this video may never get seen. We'll see. Um, but anyway, going to hit everything up and wish me luck. I'm, I'm hoping to find some stuff. Hey everybody, it's a few days later. Uh, I recorded that intro uh, Saturday morning. Um, we went out yard sailing that day. Uh, I spent a couple hours out and I have to say that it was a pretty disappointing day. There just wasn't a lot. Um, I managed to make it worthwhile. I did find some things, honestly, uh, pretty much everything I found was for trade. Even found some stuff that, um, you know, was like, I gotta make something of it. For example, one thing I found was a TI-83 plus calculator. And I'm just like, well, I can sell this on eBay since I'm already selling stuff on eBay. Uh, but overall it was pretty disappointing, but there's still good news. Uh, there were some things that I found over the past week. Um, also eBay and uh, local sales have really picked up. There was a local guy near me. He wanted, uh, he was reaching out. He was just like, I'm looking for uh, cheap games. I want to build a collection quickly. Uh, which is great because I have a lot of cheap games to get rid of. And we came up to, uh, with two deals actually. And we moved, I moved about 80 total games uh, and I sold them about for about 4 or $5 each depending on the lots that he was putting together, uh, which was really great. I got all this cash that came in, which I was going to use for a yard sale, but it just didn't work out. I mean, there just wasn't anything to get. Um, but I did make a few pickups this week, so I thought I'd go over them with you. Uh, again, if you're enjoying this content, uh, you want to hear more about what I'm doing, maybe you want to hear me talk about uh, the subject of game collecting, some of my expertise, things like that, uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and I'll be happy to do that. I'm thinking about making videos about things like uh, toxicity in game collecting, um, something else, maybe about finding good deals on eBay, um, maybe a little bit more about what I do to trade, I don't really know. Uh, or maybe about just target stuff, things that I'm looking for, things I'm looking to collect for my collection. and just putting it out there in the wild. Anyway, uh, the first thing I'm gonna show, um, I'm only gonna show a couple things from this lot because it was so big. Uh, it was a local Facebook pickup, very, very close to me. Uh, we met at a grocery store five minutes near my house. Um, at first, uh, the lady posted uh, this just huge lot of like DVDs and games and stuff, and it was a big mess. And I was like, will you just sell me the games? It's maybe like 15 games, nothing too crazy but a couple games I could use and the rest I could trade. And I'm like, I'll just give you 20 bucks for the 15 games. And she was like, that's cool. She says, but I'd really like it if you took all of these DVDs and stuff too, and just give me 40 bucks, you can take it all. And I don't normally do things like this. I don't like taking on bulk lots of DVDs, uh, but I did anyway uh, in this case, because I figured, you know, I saw in the lot that there were a few good movies, a couple of things I wanted to keep for myself, but also, uh, just things I could trade or flip or I could just take them all to second and Charles and get some kind of bulk purchase for them You know, sometimes you have to work with people She really wanted to get rid of the stuff and I she apparently finds bulk of all sorts of things So I kind of wanted her to, to want to work with me in, per, in, in person again Anyway, uh, first there was a stack of games. A lot of them were commons uh, I'm only going to show two right now that I added to the collection and uh, That was a nitro bike on ps2, which I didn't have and Arctic Thunder, which I had this on Xbox, but I didn't have it on PS2. I also kept, and they're already put away, so I'm not going to show them, uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed on PS3, and um, what, oh, Lost Planet 2 on PS3. Uh, again, nothing too exciting. I actually moved a lot of the games in that big bulk lot that I just talked about, so a lot of those are already gone, and I've already moved some of the DVDs too. So, like, for example, I sold a sealed copy of Short Circuit on DVD, which is really weird. Uh, I sold uh, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Season 1 on DVD, and honestly, I've just been working through this stuff. And the truth is, since I paid for, I was willing to pay 40 bucks just because I figured over time I'll just get rid of all this stuff and make a lot of money on it. Uh, so pretty good pickup there. I mean, honestly, not much for the collection, as you can see. But, you know, if I can get more trade bait, um, I'll do it. I mean, when things aren't going so hot, when it comes to picking up things at yard sales, you got to get creative. And so that's what I did. Uh, the next thing I'll show is uh, some of the video game pickups that I got from the yard sales last weekend. Uh, the first thing which I can't show because it's already gone is uh, I bought some uh, sports and Marvel trading cards as well as um, a copy of Wii Sports uh, from a lady for 20 bucks. I can't show it because the Wii Sports is already sold. I got rid of it 
uh, on eBay just a few days ago. I mean, we sports, uh, you find it all the time and you trade it all the time. Um, the sports cards were like a gamble for me. Uh, I knew a little bit about it. I knew Marvel cards were a little hot, so I'm going to try and trade some of them as well. I don't know if you guys are interested in those things when I pick up other esoteric items that uh, maybe are somewhat nerd related, I guess. But, um, you know, for me, I mostly use them to trade or use trade bait. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more about like DVDs and Blu-rays, trading cards, electronics, etc. that I find. Uh, I'm happy to show it, but I just don't know if people like that stuff. Um, Another uh, item I picked up, um, I'm not going to show everything from the yard sales, is uh, there was a lady uh, that I found on sort of the side of the road selling uh, video games for five bucks each. Um, she also had like a weird P90X DVD set, and so <clears throat> I got her to give me, I figured I'd just trade the P90X thing. I know people like to get that stuff online. Um, and then she tossed in, the, she tossed that in with the four games for 20 bucks. Um, unfortunately, these are all trade. I mean, there was one that um, I'm keeping. Uh, it's like an upgrade, but the rest are all traded. So the only one I'm keeping is Alone in the Dark uh, soundtrack edition. I just had the regular edition of this. Uh, and you can even see the soundtrack's not even in it. So it's not even an upgrade for me. So that was a pretty crappy one right there. Uh, but that honestly was the worst one in the lot. Uh, Star Wars, uh, Lego Star Wars Complete. I've got it already, but I've traded this many times before. Uh, this one's brand new and sealed. So this was the best pickup out of the lot. It's Lego Indiana Jones, um, completely sealed. Um, I don't collect sealed games. I don't like holding on to them. I'm kind of, <clears throat> not against it, but it's just not for me. And then my favorite trade game of all, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which will probably disappear in a few days because uh, that game never s sticks around. All those were 20 bucks. You know, with that and the DVD thing I got, I was thinking it's maybe eighty or a hundred dollars worth of value. So I had to pick it up. But again, it's been frustrating because there's just nothing I need for the collection. Um, the last thing I'll show before I end the video, and this is going to be kind of a short video to tell the truth, because because just because I haven't found that much, is I did make an eBay pickup. Um, as you know from a few videos ago, you know there are ways to get good deals on games on eBay and the good thing about eBay sometimes is that there are things you might not usually see at yard sales and fleas and thrift stores and stuff like that. Um, I made an offer on a lot. It was some random person's lot and it was strange. It was three Dreamcast games and a DS game and they were asking something like 50 bucks. Uh, I offered them 25 at first just as a, as a lark like maybe they'll take 25 because uh, it was sitting for a few days. Um, they didn't accept it but they offered me to me for 30 with a little bit of shipping and I took it because uh, there's some Dreamcast games we're going to be able to add to the collection. But the first thing that came in it, and this is purely going to be for trade because uh, I don't need it, is Tetris DS. And this is not complete. It's missing like the case art, but it's the manual and the game. And so this is definitely a good trade bait. I mean, I paid 30 for the lot plus a few bucks shipping. So this will make up probably like half of that. Uh, and then these three games, I'm going to keep all of them. I did not have them. They're on Dreamcast. And You'll see why Like I think this was uh, turned out to be a good deal. The first is a game, Incoming. I don't know a lot about this. I think it's some kind of alien invasion type game. I really don't know much about it, but I don't have it on Dreamcast, and so I figured I'd add it pretty much with Dreamcast with me these days. If I don't have it, I'm adding it. The Dreamcast library is not that big, and it's getting a little scarce, so I'm, pretty, um, I'm, pretty, I'm not very picky when it comes to Dreamcast. So if you have any Dreamcast games you're looking to get rid of, uh, hit me up. There's a good chance I'll want some of it. Uh, the other two games I definitely wanted. The first is Draconis Cult of the Worm. This goes for like 30, 35 bucks, I think. And I don't know if it's an RPG or something like that, but it was definitely collection worthy. Uh, the case is a little dinged up, but I don't really care, but the disc is in fine shape. And it's got the manual, it's complete. So definitely happy to add that, Draconis. And the last game is Fantasy Star Online version two. I had version one, didn't have version two. I mean, I remember Fantasy Star back in the day uh, when I first got my Dreamcast, and I played it online with a dial-up internet connection. So, uh, you know, you use SegaNet or whatever it was, and I think I found like a Net Zero free dial-up account, because I didn't have dial-up internet. I actually had cable internet um, at that time. I was really lucky to have it. And, um, but I needed to play Fantasy Star, so I got, I hacked my way to getting a SegaNet account and I would play Fantasy Star Online, and it was really ahead of its time. Quite a good game. Uh, I really like to pick up Fantasy Star Online on the Xbox, original Xbox, or the GameCube version, because I don't think I have uh, Fantasy Star Online on GameCube. And those are a little bit harder to come by. 
Uh, but now I got some Dreamcast versions. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I wish I had more to show this week. I wish I was finding a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, the good news is that eBay has been super, super busy for me. Um, things have been uh, real. All these like sort of cheapo games that I just need to get rid of are moving. Uh, and so what's good about that is that when I decide in the future that it's time for another retail visit, I can be a little bit more uh, liberal when it comes to spending my money on retail stuff and games that I need for the collection. Anyway, that's it. If you're enjoying this stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the subscribing, the commenting, liking is all really important. It really helps the channel grow. Just in the last few days on the Google Analytics, things have been moving up, and I think it's because people are liking the Game Room Tour video. Uh, so uh, it just goes to show that every time you like those videos, it really gets more people to see them. Uh, right now, as of the time of this recording, uh, it'll probably change later, we're at 365 subscribers. I think we were at like 350 the last time I recorded. So we just keep ticking up. I'd love to hit 400 subscribers soon. Frankly, I'd really love it if like by sometime in May, I hit 500 subscribers. That would be really amazing for me. You know, like this time last year, I think my channel had like 10 subscribers or something like that. Uh, and then when I did the first, uh, or the last, or the June 2020 Game Room Tour video, things really improved. So I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm not going to talk your ear off. I hope everyone's staying safe out there. I just got my vaccine. I would really advise you to get the vaccine uh, if it is available to you. Um, we, I want to get out of the pandemic. I want everything to get better for people. So make sure you do that and be safe out there. Anyway, that's it. Take care and thanks. Have a great day.